everyone, how's it going? Chris here. I uh, just want to give you a quick video. Um, uh, just to let you know, I'm probably going to start using the webcam a little more often uh, until I could buy some really good batteries for uh, my other camera. Because <clears throat> just uh, it needs like those lithium energizers, because any other batteries, of course, it just drains it in like a couple of uses. The batteries are dead, so and save money. Um, yeah, I might use <laughs> uh, the webcam for a while. So anyways, this is just a quick, small video and uh, of a unboxing. And since I'm doing it on the webcam, uploading straight to YouTube, I've already done a quick little doodle on the package. So there is a little goofy bobblehead-looking Spider-Man. And uh, then I drew a little spider symbol. <coughs> So let's just open it up, show you what I got. These were from uh, CBA um, Comic Book Edition in, I think that's where I got from, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, from Canada. <clears throat> and this was ordered a few paychecks ago, and all that I had was enough money for a couple comic books. So that's why I just decided to go with the CBA. And probably by the, um, for the most part, there is a theme <laughs> to these comic books as you can tell by the little uh, drawing on the front so but we'll start with the one this first one uh, infestation 2 issue number one and uh, the first reason well basically the only reason I'm getting it is because it is uh, going to be involving the Ninja Turtles and I've been really enjoying the um, IDW Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, although I'm not quite sure, again, still how I feel about the uh, kind of reincarnation um, Ninja Turtles thing. Um, but yeah, I'm just getting this just so I get the part of the turtle story here. I'm probably really ne not going to get the other tie-ins, probably not, depending on how really good it is. But... <clears throat> My money's going to be quite limited for quite a while. <clears throat> okay, so the rest are of the same theme. <laughs> um, and this is one title. Always got to always gotta pick it up. Um, even if I don't order comic books online, I should still be able to pick it up um, uh, on the newsstand here. So this is issue 677 of uh, Amazing Spider-Man. And, uh, yeah, Humberto Ramos cover. Uh, this one actually is by Wade, written by Wade. And, of course, this is the crossover with Daredevil. And I think it's somebody else that's doing the interiors for this particular one. I think so. Reels? Not sure who that is. I haven't even looked inside yet. Just opened them now, so I don't, I don't know. But everybody is uh, usually more excited for Humberto Ramos's art. He's just doing unbelievable things with Spider-Man. I mean, the <clears throat> what do you call it? The team of uh, Dan Slott and Humberto Ramos is just awesome. The writing, the the art, it just matches. It goes together very well. <clears throat> and uh, of course, since I like the Spider-Man series, I had to get the crossover. So Daredevil issue number eight, and I know there's been a lot of great things. Uh, you know, th this series has been talked up a lot. Got to use the webcam. And uh, so I'm expecting this is probably going to be a good story, good crossover with Spider-Man. Um, but I probably won't, you know, continue any uh, Daredevil issues. Again, uh, probably good, but got to save some money. And issue number 678. And this one back on with, uh, what do you call it, the Slot and Ramos. Boy, oh boy, it's hard to use that can. <laughs> Get the glare off of there. Put it over there. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So these... Out of these covers, ooh, probably the Ramos cover is probably the best. Um, and I showed you in a previous video, I do have issue number 
679 as well. So now, so now I got a bunch of Spider-Man reading to do, um, which I'm happy about. Usually to be really happy about Spider-Man, Spider-Man reading again, like I say, with uh, Humberto and uh, Stan Slot. So yeah, um, I do have another package coming from. Uh, let me think. My comic shop. Um, I ordered a couple books from them from their eBay site. <clears throat> and I also have another package coming from Midtown Comics. Um, I was thinking of saving up my money for, you know, anybody who's been watching me for a while knows some of the issues I have with Midtown's international packaging. So I was thinking of saving up all my money um, so that I can get basically two orders in one and then upgrade my shipping to... I got $26, I don't know, unbelievable pricing. <laughs> Anyways, just so I can get it in a box. But I didn't do that, you know, still taking the risks. But I did order just a couple less books just to make the package smaller. Um, but then e uh, Midtown has emailed me, and uh, it looks like maybe some really awesome good things are going to be happening for uh, their international shipping. <laughs> Um, so I don't know what else I, I can really say, I don't want to give it all away, but anyways, because, just in case it doesn't go good, I don't want to give all the details right now, but anyways, hopefully if what they, what they're going to do, uh, happens and it turns all out, this is going to be great for me, they're going to continue to have me as a, uh, as a customer for sure, um, it's just, that international shipping, I was really, ooh, but, uh, as far as their selections and prices are, are amazing. So yeah, if things happen the way Midtown is saying, um, then uh, it's probably gonna be a really good thing for me. Good thing for uh, Canadian customers as well. And uh, if it goes right, then it's for sure. Then they're gonna be, you know, worldwide one of the best um, comic book shops to purchase from. So yeah. So when that comes. <clears throat> which might be uh, estimated almost three weeks, because uh, I think it's just going to be shipping out right away, or has just shipped out, so. Yeah, so that's that. A couple more packages coming in. Oh, uh, my winnings from Captain Cummings as well. That package is supposed to come some, sometime soon. Um, and I don't know when it's going to arrive, but yeah, I think there's a book that Stadium Comics was uh, going to be sending me as well too. So, uh, and just uh, I'm going to be making more videos about all the stuff I'm going to be sailing to save up for, uh, you know, the Calgary Comic Con so I can go see Stan Lee. <clears throat> but just right now, I'll let you guys know I have already put the my uh, sideshow collectibles, uh, right hand of Hellboy, right hand of Doom on eBay. And uh, my eBay seller name is Link Reborn. Um, just message me if you want more information. But it's a a one to one scale full size prop replica of of the movie Hellboy Hand from the first movie. Um, I have listed it for three forty. Um, I do have a best offer on it, so if you guys want to throw some offers on it, um, I do have a minimum that I want to get for it, which is. Um, below it's what it's actually worth. Um, so this hand came out in 2004. Sideshow only put uh, or produced 1,500 of those um, one to one scale hands. And I have seen there's only one other one I, I've seen on eBay right now and they're listing it for about uh, 300 bucks as well. Shipping from Canada or if you live in within Canada, it can cost you upward $33, $35 for shipping. Um, and if you're in the U.S., it can cost up to, well, approximately twice as much as that. <clears throat> because it's such a huge, huge box and weighs about 16 pounds. So, uh, yeah, I've, I've listed, I think, quite below. I mean, 300 340 is probably below its worth. I've seen in the past that it's uh, those hands have gone close to two grand, as well as the Hellboy Samaritan that they produced in the same same year, a one-to-one -one scale of the uh, Samaritan Hellboy's gun, which um, 
when it first came out, you could purchase for 400, but that sold out super quick. And then, um, yeah, and then started seeing it on eBay for around two grand for the gun as well. So it's worth it. The box, the box has a little bit beat up, but of course that's that's it was a little beat up when I uh, when I had purchased it too. But the Hellboy hand and the uh, stand that it's on is is um, you know in perfect condition, and it has a um, what do you call it? Like it's hollow, and you can actually wear it. There's a handle inside of it, so you can actually wear it as a as a prop, you know, real prop replica. Okay, enough about that. I'll, I'll give you more details and probably show you the box later. But yeah, so there's a couple of the Spider-Man comics I got, and uh, yeah, some cool reading. And uh, yeah, hopefully, again, if I get some new batteries, then I'll be able to upload some videos to uh, CCC as well. And uh, I gotta try to keep fleshing out this uh, comic lotto idea. Anybody who's interested in it, please keep giving me messages. I gotta get a lot of people involved so that we can uh, pull something like that off. But it'd be really cool to have it happen. Okay, that's that. I'm rambling on too much now, as I always do. This was probably only supposed to show you the comics and then shut up and go, but <laughs> I can never really do that, can I? Okay, that's that, you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.